All right, what's up, guys? King Kunal here, uh, back with more Back to the Future. Last episode, we made it here to the little uh, future house, and we rescued Emmett. And now there's a whole drama thing going on. But uh, oh, yeah, something actually happened off screen center. when I was quit, trying so to quit the game, the which was um, Trixie basically tried to get Danny Parker to present, and he wasn't. He was busy, so she just it basically oh, another cutscene of Danny Parker un being unavailable. So they just clapped. But nothing really that much happened, but yeah, anyway, we're going to be going and trying to stop Edna from interfering with this demonstration. So we did pick up that potted plant, um, so let's Flowers just check that out the future. quickly. Just like a regular potted plant, only fake. Yeah, alright, so I zoom. What I'm trying to guess is that we're supposed to... I wonder if we're supposed to switch it out with that other plant recorder, considering we want to record... We want to record Edna doing her Hiya thing. Hi, you folks. So. Hi, you folks. I like I like Trixie's voice so much. It's so funny. All right. Anyway, let's um, let's try it. Actually, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work. All right, let's try it. Okay, the put this the the old switcheroo. <laughs> it worked. Let's go. What? What? What am I doing? Doing nothing. Just stealing police property. Don't look at me. But yeah, the game actually Nothing saved after I did that cutscene. Do my job. Um, so minute, that's I'm actually as you just saw the game saved there again. Was something but else that's I basically. To say. Um, oh, yes. So basically, yeah, the game saved, so I wasn't able to like re-show you guys that cutscene, unfortunately. So, um, let's try going back into this house of the future. Maybe there's something here. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. All right. Uh, I think we've already heard this dialogue, but whatever. I don't really recall. Away. Yeah, hopefully. I hope it is. Did I already check this out? A fully equipped home entertainment center. So, where's the ColecoVision? <laughs> I don't even know what that is, so I don't know why I'm laughing. But Anything else here? Oh, a console. Let's check that out. Alright, sliders. Oh, there's a red button. Okay. In the house of the future, fresh fruit baskets will be replenished daily by Oh, nice. There's fruits? Oh, that's just like in the second movie where the, the the fruits are coming from the head when Marty McFly Jr. was trying to get it. Okay, hold up. Um, blue button, maybe? How do you place a call? I want to place a call. Chinese like, I want to call that Expo phone booth, but I'm not sure. I mean, I assume they showed... Uh, okay, let's just make... Oh, the music changed, what? Yeah, there we go, phone conversation. I knew this was... I knew I knew there was something. Uh, because there was a cutscene earlier of someone doing a test phone number here, so... Alright, now just which one to call? Let's try... No, I didn't mean to click that. Okay, um, Brown Estate. Brown Estate 4385. Brown Residence. Hey, Hampton. How's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. I just wanted to chat with you for a while. Conversation terminated. Oh, he hung up? What a that dick. That's rude. Who is Hampton? I don't even know. Alright, let's try again. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Oh, huh, okay. Uh, phone booth of the future, then. Let's try that. Four, two, five, oh, yeah, we did memorize that number. I totally forgot. That was important. Hill Valley Expo. Tech me speaking. Who's this? Uh, some <laughs> Kid Tannen. I'm gonna try that. It's Kid Tannen. I'm out of jail, and I want you back, baby. I don't know who you are. What <laughs> she knows. Impersonation of All kid. right, whatever. But that part of my life is over. I've gone legit. Conversation terminated. Oh, wait. Could we try you, Trixie? Maybe try recording that. Can we get out of here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's try. Let's try putting the the recording device in. I mean, I mean, let me just see. We... Detective Parker's secret police recorder, just like a regular potted plant, but with a recorder inside. Okay, let's let's yeah, let's put that in here. No, not there. Over here. I wonder what's the deal with the phone exhibit. 
or the bathysphere, I mean. But put it here. Does it? Can I not? Oh, can I? Okay. Call me a snoop. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it works. Great. Okay, so I assume we're supposed to. Um, I actually don't know. Oh, the game saved again. Jesus is saving so much. Um. No, wait. Why am I going to the? Can I still go to the bathysphere? No. What? I want to just go raise the bathysphere myself. I don't think what so. the hell? Oh my god, that's a gate. That's a bug in the game. Trouble, the guy is gone, mm -hmm. but there's still a cutscene. Okay, that is weird. All right, whatever. Let's just do what the game intends us to do. There's pointless exploring this stuff. I assume we're supposed to go back and probably place a call again, record it. Uh, over here. Got to go through the same stupid ass music. I really want to speed things up because I want to finish this episode faster. So, can we just make some progress, please? Now, who who should I who should I impersonate? Klondike four two. Or maybe I just talk as myself. Um, Michael. Hi, Trixie. It's me, Michael. Michael J. Fox. Oh, oh yeah, speaking of that, I actually out didn't even realize, but apparently Michael J. Fox okay, is in the bye. cast of this bye. episode, so I'm actually excited to see when he comes. Alright, uh, okay, that didn't do anything. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite variants. One. Yeah? Uh, no, I didn't this mean to do that. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Mr. Closeoff. Close-off? Yes, first name, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver Close-off? Listen, kid, if I didn't just fall off the poutine truck, who is this really? Hang up. Conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... I meant to click Carl Sagan, because that's the only other ob obvious option besides Michael. I tried to do Michael, but... Yes. It's not gonna do anything. All right, I should skip all this. All right, phone contact for. Jeez, always with the phones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carl Sagan. This is Carl Sagan. <laughs> oh, <the mysterious laughs> that accent. Mr. Sagan, what do you want? Uh, could you get Emmett for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Oh wait, no wait, should I be talking to Emmett or? Emmett told me to tell you he started over, and he thanks you for your job offer and all, but uh. Rather stay in Hill Valley and do his own thing. Conversation terminated. Good for you, Emmett. I, met, I probably should. I'm probably supposed to talk to Edna. So I don't know why I didn't just do that. Please recite variants. All right. Uh, phone booth. Jeez. Yeah. It's me, Carl. Oh, hi, Mr. Sagan. What can I do for you? Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone? For me? <laughs> that accent sure thing, is still Mr. so Sagan. funny. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. Mr. Sagan, what happened? I thought you were distracting Emmett. <laughs> oh yes, of course I was. Then why is Emmett standing here, valiantly trying to convince Detective Parker that he should be allowed to go through with this ever so dangerous display of wrong-headed technology? What can I say? I was outsmarted by that wily Yakov Smirnov. Well, that puts a crimp in our plan. Yes, yes, our plan. About that plan. I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're <laughs> a little unclear on the details. I'm worried. You were I'm supposed worried. to keep Emmett distracted, but it appears that you've been foiled by Mr. Smirnov. What can I say? He's too smart for an old fogey like me. So I see. There's been a change of plan. What? Yes, I've changed my mind. I think we should let Emmett go through with his demonstration. But, but you told me it could be dangerous and that Yakov Shmirnov was a foreign agitator. That the only way I could get Emmett back would be to scoop him up after his dreams were shattered and, and, yes, and, yes, and yes. so on and so forth. I said a lot of things, but I was a little crazy at the time. The important thing is, now I think you should let Emmett go ahead with his little demonstration. 
Oh, I get it. What? It's Comrade Schmirnoff, isn't it? He's gotten to you. No, I really want Emmett to go ahead with his demo. <laughs> Don't no. worry, Carl. You can count on me. Uh, Edna, listen to me. You have to let Emmett go through with his demonstration. Schmirnoff's listening, isn't he? No, oh, listen. Listen, Schmirnoff. I don't know what you're holding over Mr. Sagan, but there's no way I'm <laughs> that contraption you've talked my Emmett into building and get off the ground. <gasps> so, where is Emmett? I seem to have momentarily lost track of Emmett. Do you have any idea where I might find him? You lost I really him. thought the dialogue would convince her, but... Distracted. Oh, I have been. He's just uh, wandered off. Well, go look for him. I've got my hands Bro, he's with literally Parker. with you guys. Lay off Why are you saying all those terrible things about Emmett's friend? Young comrade Schmirnoff, you were the one who told me about his vile deeds. Alright, I guess this option. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that? This accent, man, fact, is just too I'm good. I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Schmirnoff? Uh, uh, pin what on him exactly? You know, it. What? Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh, that was the Dodd's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to oh, me right Einstein? after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away, and I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. Jeez, the speakeasy. No, what? what is wrong with you? Carl, the... is somebody with you? Okay, how does she not it's know? It's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did nothing. So Whoa. I did what any right-thinking rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Oh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Speakeasies or speakeasy? Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. <laughs> <laughs> what? That accent. I love it. It was Jeez. very revealing. Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good Seriously, enough man. I hope too. Come on, we got it recorded now. Yes. Hiya, folks. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress, gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift ah, than this is the cutscene you guys missed. It was just Detective Parker being unable to perform, but it's not a big exhibit. thing. Hey, folks. If you haven't Another done one of these so tricks already, the I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future, right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. Oh, okay. Uh, hope that we can do some shit now that we've got it recorded. Oh, the game saved. Sweet. Uh, here we are. Alright, uh, let's go get the recording device. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned yes, all those you got it. I Oh, wait, where is there? People are going to be interested what? in that answer. Oh, God, no. Okay, we got to go tell Parker now. I mean, I really hope that that's good enough. Parker, oh. Parker. Excuse me. Um, I just want to talk to Detective Parker. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you got some? She said no, this, not uh, that. is going to beat up my dad and steal his videotape. That's awful. What's a videotape? Uh, never mind. I meant, you know, I meant this. Yeah. Edna's the speakeasy arsonist. There That's we go. That's an interesting theory. It's the truth. I heard her confess. What? Well, no, I have it recorded. I didn't hear it, so I'm afraid I have it recorded. it's your word against me? hers. And no offense, but her word carries a little more weight around here than yours does. Dang it. Alright, uh, let's Thanks. just show him the plan. Well, did you put the script? Alright, here you go. I hope this is oh. good enough. Hello. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? 
I'm busy trying to keep Emmett from letting you lead him into the biggest mistake of his life. Mistake? My biggest mistake this was... This will only take a minute. <laughs> Our plant recorder. It's not a good no, 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 idea no, no. to wait, steal wait, wait, Play's listen. property, you know. Shh, listen. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything. <laughs> Edna, you're the arsonist. Oh my God, even Detective can't Parker. It. Surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured a forgery of a, of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy yes. fires. Emmett? You're on your own, darling. Oh, very well. I. Heavens! No! Heaven! It's the same trick I do on everyone. You know, one of these days, I should really stop falling for that. Not to sound callous, but does this mean I can demonstrate my invention? Let's take that as a yes. All right, good. Making some real progress now. Greetings and salutations to all our honored okay, another guests. Scene. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? I really hope Trixie... I don't have a choice. Never mind. You bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Come on. Let's get up there. Finally, time. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? Oh, oh, are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are gold. Wish me luck. Don't have to. Haha, <laughs> because it's supposed to be a failure, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown. Yes. Objection. Objection, come on. Objection, your honor. I hereby demand that uh, the scientific Emmett. demonstration of one oh, Emmett Petra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity. I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father. Uh -oh. Where is he? Hand him over this instant. That's his father, Judge Brown. Jesus. Emmett, are you All right, looks there? like we're going to be doing this, reconciling them next episode, guys. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. You guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.